Hello, Bill. Uh, congratulations on being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Well deserved. Thank you very much. Okay, in your uh, career in wrestling, uh, as a wrestler, as a coach, uh, uh, who had the greatest influence on your career? Uh, in my coaching career? Mm -hmm. Probably my dad. Mm -hmm. He was Vern Hickey at University of California, Davis. Mm -hmm. yeah. he, he developed a philosophy that I lived by for all the years I coached. And that was a pat in the back while I'd have went a lot further than to chew on a button. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Yep. <laughs> Do you have any idols in wrestling? No, not really, because I was not a wrestler myself. I mm -hmm. was a student of wrestling. Mm -hmm. And I think because of that, I probably became a better coach because I had no preconceived ideas. I was open to all kinds of information. Mm -hmm. Went to a lot of clinics, listened to the kids that came back from college, and just developed a certain style that served me well. Yeah, it makes a difference when yeah, you're open-minded and ready to yeah. learn. What got you started in wrestling? Obviously, if your dad was... Well, he got me in coaching, but it started in wrestling. The superintendent at El Dorado High School in Placerville offered me a job. Mm -hmm. And he said, can you start a wrestling program? Well, I was looking for a job, and I said, I can start most anything. <laughs> and so I took the job, and we started from there. Mm -hmm. What was interesting is... In 1958-59 was the first year that wrestling started in the Sacramento area, and that's 50 years ago this year. Wow. I can believe that. There were eight schools that were started wrestling in the area, and I don't know what there is now, but an awful lot. There's an awful lot. Yeah. Absolutely. What do you attribute to your success in wrestling as a coach? Probably I out-hustled mm -hmm. and outworked a lot of the other coaches. I did camps, clinics for kids. Uh, off-season programs for my kids. We just worked awfully hard. Mm -hmm. This was probably the biggest thing is that we just really worked hard. Yeah, you worked hard as an individual yeah. to get them there. I can see that. Is there one outstanding situation or one outstanding memory you have? To stand yeah, here's, here's an interesting situation and I'm going to say it tonight mm -hmm. uh, during the five-minute interview. In the late 60s we had at that time a, a novice tournament which those underclassmen that had not placed in the league tournament mm -hmm. were able to participate but well, we had some older kids that didn't qualify so my wife took a half a team down to the Bella Vista Invitational she won that with a half a team and I won the novice tournament oh my. now how many coaches have their wives win a tournament and they win a tournament on the same day I bet you're the only one. I think I might be. <laughs> it is, uh, is there one match as a coach that stands out in your mind? Yeah. Of all others? Uh, at City College, we had a hard time beating Fresno City College. Mm -hmm. And this was in the late 70s. We went down in their house and wrestled on their mat, and we beat them for the first time that I can remember, mm -hmm. ever. Great that, feeling. That was a very satisfying win. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, why did you decide to become a coach? Uh, obviously, you alluded to that a little bit. Well, my dad was a job. coach uh, at UC Davis mm -hmm. and at Santa Rosa before he came over there. and It just seemed a natural. I, I, I picked up on that at an early age, working with some of my kids. You know, I was the one that organized the teams. and <clears throat> Then I'd gone to the Navy and I coached there. So it just seemed a natural way to go. Yeah, probably around it growing up too, I would yeah. imagine all around it. Would you do anything differently? You've had a great career? Nope. Wouldn't change a thing. Would not change a thing. It's always gratifying to be satisfied yeah. at the end. Of yeah, the it is. And uh, right now, today, I'm still teaching. Mm -hmm. But I'm teaching fishing. <laughs> How about that? I, I have a drift boat. I don't know if you know what a drift boat is. Mm -hmm. Okay. I run it on the Rogue. And I teach rowing to some of our club members. I teach fishing. I teach fishing seminars. Uh, we've got another clinic coming up here at the end of the month that I'm going to do at a store. We make a DVD, mm -hmm. and the profits go into the club treasury. It's Middle Road Steelheaders. So I'm still teaching. It's just a different subject. Yeah, still coaching. <laughs> still coaching. <laughs> different subject. <laughs> what would you like people to remember about you, Bill? Oh, boy. Uh, kind of a loaded question. Yeah, it is. Uh, I think I had a very high tolerance 
for people that didn't succeed and would give them a second chance, mm -hmm. particularly if they made dumb mistakes as far as their activities in life. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is if I recruited a kid and then I had to kick him off the team, then I wasted time, I wasted his time. So I had a very simple rule. If you embarrass me or the college, you're done. Mm -hmm. It took a, lot, took a lot to embarrass me. How do you think the sport of wrestling contributed to your life? <coughs> Excuse me, allergy season. It is. I, am. Um, I think the friendships I've made over the years Mm -hmm. been very satisfying. The kids that have come back, help them, uh, helping them then go on to further education. Mm -hmm. Kids that have gone on to be veterinarians, optometrists, things like this. But we kept them going. Yeah, and I'm sure they keep in touch yeah, with you. they do. Yeah, we had Richard Fox in here a little bit earlier yeah. and he was one of yours. Yeah, and he, he spoke was. Very highly yeah, of yeah. You. he was one of my better ones. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that's always gratifying. Those are always good. They are. Well, thank you so much, okay. and uh, we really appreciate that you're taking your time to, to speak with us, and uh, uh, congratulations for thank being Thank you very much. It's going to be a pleasure to be here. Hall of Fame. Yep.